this is how my skin used to look. As you can see right now, I have a cystic spot here, here, I have a spot here and here, and then here, here, here. Now, my skin looks like this. I tried everything you could possibly think of to get rid of my acne. I washed my face with bottled water. I removed sugar and dairy from my diet. I followed a healthy lifestyle, made sure that I exercised, ate healthy and slept well. Nothing worked. None of these things helped even a little bit. The only thing that worked for my skin was isotretinoin. I want to start off this video by saying that acne is terrible. It's a serious condition that can have strong implications on an individual's mental health. People who are struggling with acne are more prone to experiencing shame, depression, anxiety, grief, disassociation, and according to a 2010 study, people struggling with acne even struggle more when it comes to job applications. So for those of you who are struggling with acne, know that you're not overreacting when you're experiencing issues with your self-esteem. People who are struggling with acne are often branded as superficial when they voice that they struggle with their self-image when they, when they look in the mirror every day. And I think this is really wrong. When I struggled with acne, I, I, my self-esteem took a really, like a, just a nosedive. And on top of that, I was trying so many things to heal my acne and nothing, literally nothing was working. So I felt like a failure, I felt helpless, I couldn't see the end of it anymore, and the whole thing was just a, a big mental health nuclear bomb. And the worst part of my acne was that every time that a zit would leave, um, there would be a red mark left. This red mark is called post-inflammatory erythema. It's something that people with paler skin tones are prone to getting after acne. The only way to get rid of it, well, to speed up the process of healing is lasers. Other than that, it would take six months and up to a year to heal on its own. So there would be some rare times where I would not have a single spot on my face, a single zit, but I would still have, you know, all the red marks from all the previous acne. Now to this day, I do not understand why I broke out in the first place. When I was younger, I had clear skin. Everyone around me was struggling with acne and I was just confused as to why people were breaking out because my skin just stayed clear. Other than the very rare breakout during my period, my skin would just be flawless. And then at age 18, I slowly started to break out. It started very slowly. And it, it didn't really become overwhelming at any point, but I always had acne. There were always, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There were always a couple of spots on my face. And nothing, as I said before, nothing that I did helped with it. The same thing happened with my older sister. She also started breaking out in the same way at age 18, around age 18. And she also had to be on Accutane to get rid of her acne. And my dermatologist admitted to me that she was, she was confused about my acne because it's completely abnormal to just randomly start breaking out like that. So to this day, I don't know why I was breaking out. I don't know what the cause was. But I do know that the only thing that healed my skin was Accutane. I started taking isotretinoin or Accutane in January 2022 and I finished that summer. So I was on it for approximately six months. For those of you who don't know, isotretinoin is a scientific name of the medication and Accutane is a brand name that would produce this medication and this was very um, the, the most common brand name used in the States, which is why people now refer to isotretinoin as Accutane. But funnily enough, the brand Accutane no longer exists, but people have just stuck to calling isotretinoin Accutane. So throughout this video, I will be, I will be using those two words interchangeably to describe the same thing, which is isotretinoin, Accutane, yeah, the vitamin, it's a vitamin A derivative, derivative. So, isotretinoin is an oral medication prescribed to treat severe acne in the cases where less invasive methods such as topical ointments have not worked. It's known for its efficacy, but it's also known to have very, very, very rough side effects. So women cannot get pregnant while they're on Accutane because the medication is known to cause birth defects. It's also not advised to drink alcohol um, while on Accutane because it's extremely rough on your liver and then the alcohol would obviously also be rough on your liver so they say that you should just 
absolutely avoid all some dermatologists say to absolutely avoid alcohol mine said I could have a glass of wine here and there but my dermatologist also told um, instructed me to take a lower dosage over a longer period of time whereas in the States they often give you a very big dosage for a shorter period of time and my dermatologist did um, instructed me to do this so that I wouldn't experience such rough side effects but towards the end I begged her to just increase my dosage and she agreed with me because I just, I just wanted it to be done. Isotretinoin also causes your skin to become very fragile and sensitive because it works through decreasing the sebum production. People describe it as your skin being more thin, but technically this is not true, it's just, it's just more sensitive. Because of it being more sensitive, you're also more prone to scarring anywhere on your body and in any way. So if you would fall down and you would get a scratch, you're more prone to your skin scarring there. And the same is true for, you know, popping your pimples. I would say that I didn't experience any intense side effects while on Accutane. I did experience the normal ones, but nothing out of the ordinary, nothing extreme. I experienced, you know, extreme dryness on my lips, my eyes, and also my hands. My hands here, the top of my hands was flaking. My eyes were so dry that it was impacting my vision. I was seeing things blurry and I was super light sensitive to the point where I was sitting in my university classroom literally with sunglasses on because I, I couldn't. I couldn't look at the screen, I couldn't look at anything, it just hurt. Yeah, so I went to the ophthalmologist and told him that I was losing my vision and that I was really worried. And he looked at my eyes, he said there's nothing wrong with your eyes. Well, there's nothing wrong with your eyesight. You just have very dry eyes and he prescribed me some very intense eye drops for moisturizing and it mostly took care of everything. My eyes became so dry towards the end of my treatment because I had convinced my doctor to increase my dosage against her will. But my eyes were so dry that I would wake up in the morning and I would open my eyes. You know, like you wake up and you open your eyes. But it would take my eyes a bit longer to open because the, the eyeball was literally like stuck to my eye. Like I would open my eyes, like the muscle would have done that but then they would kind of grossly slide up my eyes. <laughs> it sounds really disgusting and it felt really disgusting. Um, and then the first thing that I did in the morning was put in my eye drops because I would literally be like, like, <laughs> yeah, it was horrible. My eyes are currently still a bit dry, but to be fair, they were also dry before the Accutane treatment. I was just used to it and then the Accutane made them more drier and then now they're just still somewhat dry you know I put in eye drops once a day once every two three days it's nothing too serious dry lips are probably the most common side effect of Accutane um, I literally had tubs of, of Vaseline all over my apartment and I would just be applying it I wouldn't even be applying it carefully I would just take a blob put it like this like a clown and that is how I would chill at home my lips are still dry, but they were also dry before the Accutane. I'm a lip, lip Vaseline addict, I'm a Labello addict, whatever addict. Every night I have a lip moisturizing cream. My lips are like Sahara Desert, but it's, it's, it's it was like that before already. But yeah, during the Accutane, it was really rough. My I couldn't properly wear lipstick because my lips were just flaking and flaking. Yeah, it wasn't very nice, but six months and then I had clear skin. So the last side effect that I had was that the top of my hands right here was peeling. Um, so it was very dry here in the skin. It was pretty much raw, which was, it was, this was a big problem for me because I was really into the gym at this time and I couldn't wear my gloves to keep my, to protect my hands from getting rough. But yes, again, not the end of the world. I would have put lotion on it. The lotion would burn because my skin was just that raw. This is completely cleared up. One thing that I would like to mention is the fact that my skin got exponentially worse while on Accutane. This is a known side effect and it's very common. It's known as the Accutane purge, but I was not mentally prepared. I was absolutely not mentally prepared for how bad my skin was going to get. So usually I would have like one, two, three, maximum four spots on my face at a time. Suddenly with Accutane, I had both of my cheeks full my chin, my forehead, I would literally look in the mirror and just, just, yeah. I, I was telling my dermatologist that Accutane wasn't working. 
that Accutane wasn't working for me, that I don't know what's wrong. I was researching, you know, what are the chances that Accutane isn't working and I was trying to convince my dermatologist that I was one of those rare exceptions where Accutane wasn't working, completely overreacting, completely overthinking and my dermatologist was just saying, you know, just be calm, just trust the process, just trust it. Um, and I was freaking out and I was, my self-esteem was just completely shattered because I was struggling so much with my self-esteem anyways, regardless of the acne. So I started to pop my zits because I thought that that was the best idea ever to minimize their appearance. Of course, this was a very bad idea because now I am left with um, scarring. I'm gonna try to take a video to show you guys clearly what it looks like. Honestly, the scarring, it doesn't bother me too much. I've been doing some lasers against it, mostly because I just, I enjoy doing facials and lasers and whatnot. But I really, really wanna warn you against popping or touching your face while you're on Accutane and to just trust the process and to accept that it's going to get worse before it gets better. To trust the process and to mentally prepare yourself for the fact that it's gonna get significantly worse before it gets better. So after finishing my treatment with, with Accutane, my skin was completely clear. It was, it was beautiful, not even a blackhead was there. But I was still left with the post-inflammatory erythema, which are the red spots which are left after the acne. It took a very long time for these to go away. I didn't do any lasers against them, I just let them heal on their own. And they did, but it took really like up to a year for my for my skin, for my whole skin to be one color again. But I was so 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 happy. I was comfortable leaving the house again without makeup for the first time in literally like months. I just I felt so so free. I was looking in the mirror, just admiring my skin, and it was really nice because for the longest time, not even I didn't even have blackheads for like six months. Now, sadly, the blackheads have come back and I have to start doing things against them. But I, I enjoyed the clearest skin after Accutane. Currently, I barely break out. I'll break out maybe on my period or if I'm sleeping like with my arm on my face. Or right now, I'm experimenting with fake tan. So I, I am kind of stupidly breaking out because I'm exposing my skin to weird chemicals. But other than that, my skin is just completely clear and I could not be happier. Before Accutane, I had an extreme skincare routine. I always took care of my skin. I tried every product on the market. I would never go, I wouldn't even dare go to bed with my makeup on. I would use a different towel, you know, I wash my face and then use that towel and then the next day use the other side of the towel to dry my face and then use a different towel. And now, I, I must admit, there have been days where I've gone to bed with my makeup on. There have been days, if I'm not wearing sunscreen, that I would just, you know, not do any skincare for two days, not wear any makeup. Um, I have used my body towel to dry my face, and my skin stays clear. I do try to eat healthy, but I don't always succeed. I eat chips, I eat candy, I eat junk food, I eat, I eat so much cheese. I literally have cheese for breakfast every day, and my skin is staying clear. If I could go back in time, I would have start isotretinoin a lot earlier. I regret having tried all of these other methods and just being so, so frustrated because I just kept on failing. I, I wish I had just, you know, seen for a couple months that the acne wasn't going away, that nothing was working, and that I would have just immediately started with the Accutane. I wasted so much time and money on products and methods that did not work and just wasted my time and just broke my heart over and over. The only thing that worked for my skin was Accutane. And that's all that I have for today. If you have any questions regarding my experience with azotretinoin, please let me know in the comments below and I will try to answer everything.